Hi guys, this is me, the Boss Gamer, and today I'm bringing you another Skyrim Special Edition, guys. This will be like part two uh, of, uh, of the part one video I made uh, like last week, showing you how to install mods and guide for that video. So many of you guys ask, was asking me in the comments saying, uh, "Hey, Boss Gamer, you just didn't show all the mods." I like I said in the previous video, guys. Uh, most of these mods are easy just uh, install these mods through your uh, mod manager any mod manager like vortex or nexus mod manager or uh, mod organizer 2 only I showed you the, the mod you need to install manually any mod you still install it through nexus mod manager vortex or even mod organizer 2 it is really good guys you, you don't need any tutorial for these mods most of these mods are easy only thing I made tutorial is SKSC mods you have to install it manually I already covered some of these mods in the, in the, in the first part, part 1 because uh, I made another video it took me like around probably 30 minutes uh, 30 uh, sorry 30 minutes to one hour also one another thing guys there are so many Russian people coming to my YouTube asking me in Russian language I don't understand I'm not bothering to copy and paste your comment in that Google translation because if you're writing your comments in like Russian and Chinese or Japanese or whatever I'm not going to answer you because I don't and uh, I don't understand what you're saying so I cannot help you so yeah first thing you need is loot and now loot is the most important thing is in the game this is basically when you install all the mods you need to organize in your mod your, uh, you need to organize your load order and your all your plugins without that your game will just definitely will just crash completely to CTD you will get in the game uh, basically crash to your desktop and you don't want this happen to your game so the most important thing is you just need to download loot loot is like second step i didn't cover that in the first part because it took like 26 minutes i don't want to go like 40 or 50 minutes it will be a really long tutorial no one wants want to watch my videos that long so yeah i, I want to make like around 15 to 20 minute tutorial not not much higher than that so yeah you need loot let's say you download all your mods and uh, uh, many of you guys was asking me in the previous video there are some missing patches now missing patches the loot will tell you what type of missing patches if you have uh, if you have like load or load order issues or even conflicts yes guys conflict now I uh, have two conflict in my load order I'm going to show you I'm going to run loot right now let me run loot right now we get just going through just give it a second just I'm going to s select my special edition so if you have many games you can select them through here let's say you have Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, New Vegas you can choose them here now you, you have to do this every time if you want to play any game so I'm choosing Skyrim now you see two errors errors that mean you have two conflicts or problem in your load order dirty plugins is dirty plugins you can just go to SSC edit and clean them now uh, previously uh, SSC edit was um, manual cleaning now it is automatic cleaning so you automatically will clean your uh, mods basically and most of these mods you need cleaning is update down guard health fire and uh, dragonborn uh, dlc this esm but other even some other mods need cleaning when you mod when this loot asking you to clean you clean these mods you don't clean anything else when loot tell you to clean it was saying this mod basically need clean now I already cleaned all these long time ago I don't need to clean them uh, every time but when you update your let's say your game you update your SKSC 64 uh, you need to clean every each one of these uh, this ESM files so yeah and uh, I have two errors now when I when you when you try to sort your load order I'm going to show you just hit this button here see so sort plugins hit like that you start updating sorting your load order. you see you basically organizing all your all your load order through this now I have two errors let me show you see it will tell you if there is a problem in your load order now let me you see here is it this Skyrim 3d trees I have this Skyrim uh, trees and uh, and ground or something like that. It says this plugins uncomfortable with Skyrim flower uh, flora overhaul, and it also not com uh, comfortable with Skyrim 
is windy. Now these two is not common. This could cause crashes, could cause other problems, textures, or anything like that. So I had to disable these mods so this 3D trees and plants will work. You see, it does tell you. Also, I have. Let me. I just go back in here. Yeah, there it is. You see, I have this uh, Benjamin, uh, whatever. I, I I don't know how to pronounce this. It's completely different. Uh, so he seems using scoped bows, but you not have enabled, uh, let's say, compatibility patch for this mod. So he need see he ask you what type in what type of patch you need, and I need this patch. When you hit it directly, it will take you to your mod, uh, Nexus mod manager. There it is. There's the patch. You download the patch, and for your game. Now I didn't download it because my game just worked fine. But if you want to download patch, why I didn't download this patch? Because this patch needs uh, unofficial patch, uh, Skyrim unofficial patch, and I don't use unofficial patch for my game because I need every single patch for other mods. So no, I don't use unofficial patch because I have. Uh, like uh, HTT and HTT doesn't work very good with uh, unofficial patch it could uh, will cause my game to crash so yeah if you using HTT with the unofficial patch I want to recommend you do that so yeah uh, no this is later so yeah also I have Sophia follower this is like a follower mod for your uh, companion or something like that you see it tell you what type of conflicts you have what type of mod needs patches and things like that so this loot is really really important this is basically is the best software or tool you can use to organize your mod some of these mods you need to uh, manually adjust your uh, load order basically you want let's say certain textures mod you want to be loaded first so you have to change them uh, like uh, differently in here so yeah install all the mods and run your loot then try to see what loot tells you if you need uh, to clean you need to clean if you need like have conflicts disable these mods if you need patches install these patches so loot will tell you everything you need to know so there it is loot is the most important tool or software for your mods without that i will not recommend play mods <laughs> this is really the most important thing so yeah i'm going to leave this in the link in the description below the video so it is easy to install this mod basically just uh, where it is just go here i'm going to leave this loot github uh, this website just download loot just simple it is uh, basically go here download loot it is exe file just download it in, uh, in, uh, in your computer and then uh, that's it it doesn't need anything else uh, you make sure you download the latest version this is latest 14.2 another thing is really important thing is you need sse edit to clean your files this now this is really automatically all you need is install it i already installed i'm going to show you how to install this one so you need this uh, tr to install just uh, make sure you install the latest version of that because there are some fixes and things like that so go ahead and open 7-zip just unzip that extract the files like that where it is let me just drag this in here so open up why why it does open there oh there it is now what you need to do just to open Nexus Mod Manager here or whatever just open your game folder this is my game there it is the path the file path and this is my hard drive steam steam apps common special edition you can do it manually or you can open through Nexus Mod Manager or you can open it even through the Nexus Vortex now I don't know about Vortex but I don't use just rename the folder and drop it in here you see and this is my game path here my SK, uh, Skyrim SE file my this is my directory file so all you have to do is just drop it in here now how you do that just let me show you guys oh. so many things is open now now you see SSE edit just go ahead rename that and just remove this version in here like that hit delete and hit ok then all you need is drop it there this simply just copy or paste or drop it there that's it now you need to go to your uh, and make sure you open it 
send it to your desktop and you create a shortcut for here you have to create shortcut because you want to run your loot through that let's say uh, loot asking you to clean some of the mods like down guard or like uh, hellfire or dragonborn so you want to open this uh, do like that let me i just thought let's say you open a loot and there is be be uh, dirty plugins there will be uh, there will be dirty plugins in here so what do you have to do is just open this again just wait a minute until I just close this ah, there it is it's ready now now when there is dirty plugins there will be uh, what do you have to do just um, let's see when there is the dirty plugin you want to uh, clean the down guard just hit down guard and hit clean that's it. It's so simple. Uh, so simple and easy, guys. Uh, why that is open also? Mm, it doesn't work. So, yeah, just uh, if ask you one of the mods, just hit this and hit OK. It will, uh, it will clean this mod automatically. You don't have to do anything. So, I'm not going to do that uh, because I already cleaned all my, uh, some of my, uh, my mods. It doesn't need cleaning. But if asking you to clean, it will do it. Uh, that's it guys this is all the tutorial I want to show you guys it's really simple this loot it basically this part 2 is really short video I'm using so yeah guys uh, this is all things you need just these two most important thing you need loot and SSE edit to clean your uh, mods and that's it and loot to organize your mind and see what type of conflicts you have so guys do not forget to subscribe like and share uh, the video with your friends if you have any type of questions just leave them in the comment section below the video also guys check my youtube channel for more cool contents i have there and yeah guys i hope i'm seeing you guys later and peace